So we will be discussing the lungs. Um, as you can see here, they are separate. There is a right lung and a left lung. Um, and that's because of the heart, which is kind of in the middle of the two lungs there. Um, and I'll show you here, the right lung has just a slight curve on the inside of it because um, the heart is, you know, to the left of the right lung there. And the heart's about as big as your hand if you make a fist. Um, and it's not directly in the middle, actually. It's a little slightly to the left is where your heart actually is. Um, as you can see there, it's a little bit to the left more. So with that being pushed to the left, that would make the left lung a little bit more concave than the right one. It kind of fits, the heart kind of fits right inside there on the inner part of it. Now the right lung has three different sections. Um, if you if you're a smoker, um, then the bottom section here kind of depletes and it'll you know get less and less the more you smoke. So I just want to show you that. And the left side, um, excuse me, the left lung actually has two parts and that's um, partially because the heart is takes up a space of the lung so it's not the same size. So when you breathe in, the air travels down a little tube down your throat there. And then once it gets down your throat, it separates through and travels to your lungs. And then your lungs then have, you know, different stems on them, similar to a tree, how a tree has roots at the bottom. Your lung um, also, they have different stems that kind of play as, you know, roots um, within them. So you see here, this is kind of what it would look like. So imagine when you're, you know, if you watch the lungs and watch when you're breathing, you can see the airway, you can see where the air travels and exchanges through the different stems. So, and they both, when you breathe, they both fill up and travel through the little stems. And then they go to the end and they have different sections um, within at the end of each stem. And those sections is where the air, um, it's with the blood cells, it's like a cluster of them um, at the end of the stem there. And so the air travels through there and it gets bigger and bigger. And so when you exhale, it comes back out through those tubes and then out of your mouth that way. So in, it goes in and it expands and then it reaches the ends and then when you exhale out, it travels back outwards. So it's kind of like an exchanging of, you know, the process is an exchange. You know, you circulate air in, it goes through the lungs, through your different stems, and then it travels back outwards. And it's the forever expansion of the lungs because they're filling with air. However, if you smoke, when you the air goes in, that part of your lung doesn't expand as much and you can't exchange that air the same way. So you'll need, you, you need more exchange, more effort in order for that to be able to breathe and it's hard because, you know, it kind of gets, it's hard, it increases but It's not always, 
um, that often that it can travel. Um, but the healthier you are, the more it will expand and the easier it will be to breathe.